name is Elijah Navarro, I'm the percussion product specialist at the Dario & Company. So today we're going to be talking about how to select the right drumstick and how the five key elements of a drumstick can affect your sound and feel, which ultimately, uh, ultimately affects the way you play <clears throat> and the way you approach the groove. So first and foremost, in any drumstick, the five key elements are length, diameter, right, or the fit in your hand, your tip shape, so if, if it's a round, an acorn, a barrel tip, you have the tip material, whether it's wood or nylon, and then of course taper. So taper will affect the way the stick throws, the tip material and shape will affect the way the stick sounds on cymbals and drums. The length will kind of allow you to either sit back or choke up in your seating position. Um, and then, of course, your diameter is just a play of preference. Um, keep in mind, though, as your diameter gets larger, the stick becomes heavier and it creates a higher output sound. So your volume increases. All right. So really quick, we'll start with uh, a Maple Jazz Cafe stick. This is part of the Promark line. This is the MJZ7, so there's three, uh, five, seven, and nine. And you'll see this has a very, very small uh, teardrop tip or small acorn tip. This tip, in combination with the maple wood, makes it a very light drumstick as well as making it a very light output volume or soft output volume. So. Okay, so if you take this stick and you say, shoot, this feels good, it's the right length, it might be the right diameter, the wood type, eh, it's a little light for me, so it's forcing me to work a little harder, um, or it's too fast, and the tip isn't giving me enough output volume. You could bump that up to more of a larger acorn tip, so you go from to So this stick is a little longer, it's got a larger acorn tip on it, okay? It's a thicker stick, so it throws a little heavier, it's a bigger, beefier stick, which is why the output volume is so much louder. Very different. Now, you might say, shoot, this stick feels good, it's the right diameter, um, it's the right length, but that acorn tip is a, a little too articulate for me, so let me dull it down to something that's um, not creating as much output volume or as much articulation. So you'll go from an acorn, which has a very pronounced articulate sound because of the way the shape interacts with the cymbal on this hard radius here. So you go from to a teardrop tip, it's a little more subdued. It's not quite as in your face, and it gives you a little bit of um, kind of blend between, between all drums and cymbals. Now, this particular drumstick is a beefy drumstick. This is a 5B. This is part of our select balance line. This is a rebound 5B or 595 which means that the diameter is 595 thousandths of an inch. It has a long taper, which allows the stick to kind of respond quickly. But again, that tip really makes for a more subdued um, output sound and articulate sound on the cymbal, which is excellent for jazz, um, some kind of funk and hip hop. Uh, and again, it is a little bit of a play of preference. So you might say, shoot, I'm playing rock, I'm playing rock and roll. And I want something that's going to give me a little kind of more sh straightforward, thrashy kind of sound. So you go from the teardrop to a pro round. Now, this kind of, this, this, our pro round in a pro marked line uh, is a round bead with kind of a, a little bit of a barrel shape to it. 
It's specific and unique to Promark. Um, this gives you a little bit more kind of, of a brash sound on your cymbal versus, again, that, that teardrop, which is, allows for a little more of a blend. And then lastly, you might say, all these things are great, all good and well, but I need to cut through a little more. I play more heavier rock, maybe metalcore, right? I'm not a metalcore player, so I'll do my best here. But you might consider using a nylon injected molded tip. So you'll have a teardrop, you have an acorn, large acorn, you got your pro round, and then you have your nylon tip. It's really, it's really pingy, it really cuts. This really helps you if you're gonna be working on uh, some bell work, any bow work. You really wanna kinda get in there and have this tip speak out on top of everything else that you're playing. This is the Mike Portnoy stick, TX420. This is an excellent stick if you're in studio or in session and you really want that cymbal to be articulate and cut through the mix. Also a great stick for live if uh, you have some really uh, technical figures on any of the cymbal, on hi-hat. Hi-hat as well. It really helps to kind of cut through that mix. So that's a quick run through of drumstick tips and the anatomy of the stick, the five elements we discussed, and how that kind of affects your sound. You can find any of these Promark drumsticks at your nearest sandwich.